Hello, my name is Jen, and for today's pose flow video, I'm going to share with you a standing pose flow. So this series begins in the downward facing dog and includes reverse warrior, a twisted high lunge, and the ninja pose. I typically go through the series one time on the right and the left a little bit slower. And then I start to pick up the pace of that flow so that way on the the second and third round, I'm then going just a little bit faster. So more just breath by breath. I do offer the blocks in this flow. So when I'm beginning the, the flow, I'll guide students to place the blocks at the front short side of the yoga mat. Okay, and then you can find the tabletop position. And then we're going to press into the balls of the feet, lifting the knees and coming into downward facing dog. So prior to doing this flow, I might have done some reclined work or tabletop poses, maybe some half sun salutations or even full sun salutations. We're going to let the weight start to shift into the left ball of the foot. Inhale, the right heel is going to sweep up into downward dog split. Exhale, curl the right knee into the chest, shifting the weight forward more into the hand. Step the right foot near the right wrist. Spin the back left heel down. Inhale, left arm is going to start to cartwheel around. So you're going to rise up, passing through warrior two, flipping your right palm up to take reverse. So the left hand can land on the left thigh or the left arm can loop around the low back. So you're going to take a breath in and then as you're exhaling, we're going to let the body pass through warrior two, bringing the arms around, framing the front foot, spinning off of the back left heel. So revolved high lunge, left hand either on the yoga block or on the floor. Right hand to the right hip or stretch the right fingertips to the sky. Take a breath in and as you exhale, right hand comes to the inside of the right foot. Now if you want, you can use your hands on blocks or hands on the floor. We're going to be spinning the 10 toes. So we're going to come into ninja with the left knee bent. So if you're using blocks, move them with you. Turn the toes out, bend the left knee. Extend out through the right leg, taking the ninja pose. Left knee bent, right leg extended. Now we're going to go back toward that front right foot. So you're going to start to walk the hands back to the right foot, spin all 10 toes, shift the blocks, step back, downward facing dog. Walk out through the knees, walk out through the feet. All right, we're gonna take that flow on the second side. So I'm gonna demonstrate the flow this time without the yoga block. So shift into the right ball of the foot, inhale, send the left heel into down dog split. Exhale, curl the left knee in toward the chest, step the foot through, spin the right heel down. Inhale, cartwheel the right arm around, flipping up the left palm, right hand to right thigh or loop it around the low back. Exhale, passing through warrior two, frame the left foot, spin the right heel. Inhale, left hand to the left hip or sweep the arm up, taking revolved high lunge. Exhale, bring the left hand to the inside of the foot, walk the hands toward the right long side of the mat, spin the heels in, toes out, bend the right knee, take ninja pose. As you're exhaling, start to walk the hands back toward the left foot, Turning all 10 toes to face the front short side, spin off your back heel, step back, downward facing dog. So it's at this point, I would then guide that series of poses again on the right and the left, and maybe possibly another full cycle on the right and the left. I really love this flow sequence because it increases the heart rate, it increases circulation, and it's um, 
very energizing and warming to the body. So if we're going to include any um, other challenge poses after this flow sequence, it's great because it warms up the body and helps to prepare for more challenging poses. But it's also a great flow sequence for a morning practice as it is very enlivening to the body and the mind. So thank you so much for watching and please post any questions or comments below. Thank you.